Okay, guys, so I want to share with you guys my updated skin work routine for beginners. Like, I used to struggle with doing my skin work, and now I discovered a method that works so well for me, and I decided to share with you guys. So I'm going to do my brows off camera and then come back to, like, start proper. So I already did my brows off camera, and I'm going to head right into doing the skin work. First thing I like to do is to prep my face, which is usually my skincare routine. But if you do not have a skincare routine, then you can just slap on a moisturizer, and then you're good to go. After that, I'm going to apply a, a makeup mist. This is just a mixture of a makeup setting sprays i added some pigments to give it this shimmery look so i'm going to spray this on right now i'm going to wait for that to completely dry down before i move to the next step next up i'm going to apply my primer so you can literally use any primer for this but this is the one i'll be using So the key to a really good skin work is a perfectly prepped base. So I like to wait for my primer to dry down until it starts to feel sticky before I go ahead to do the next step. So the next step is to apply my foundation. I don't apply this everywhere. I only apply this on areas like this, this and you know a little on my forehead. I try as much as possible to avoid my under eyes so they don't start creasing after applying my um concealer and then my powder because so much product on this area will actually cause it to crease and there's also something i forgot to mention okay so your primer is dependent on your skin type so if you have a dry skin you want to look into getting a moisturizing primer and then if you have an oily skin you want to look into getting a mattifying primer for me i have like a normal skin i don't get oily and my skin is not also dry so i can just go with any primer i want depending on how i want my makeup to turn out so i'm just going to put my foundation here and then put a little on the side too i'm going to first like spread out the foundation before i go into blending with my brush so i'm going to start blending with my foundation brush and then when i'm blending i'm pushing it into my skin i'm not dragging it So I'm going to take the excess on the brush and then just apply it to this part of my face. I don't like like applying so much product on this area, so it's not so difficult to blend it out. So now that I'm done with blending out my foundation, I'm going to apply my concealer. I'm going to apply my concealer here and here, and then here and hair and hair so for the concealer on the outer part of my face that's hair and hair and hair i'm going to use my foundation brush to blend them out While I'm waiting for these um, concealers to dry down, I'm going to do my contour placement. So for my contour, I'll be using my brand. This is a cream contour, but we haven't launched yet because I was actually testing the formulas and this is the one I decided to stick with. So stick around so you get to know when we finally launch, okay? I want to give you guys a trick on how to know where to do your contour, okay? If you look at my face, you're going to see this natural line here. So for you, you may want to like do this so you see it, okay? So when I do it, you're going to see the line. So you can see the line your contour should be directly on top of that line and to blend your contour you want to blend upward and not downwards So now that I've given my concealer enough time to dry down, I'm going to blend out my concealer. So first, I'm going to be using my concealer brush. So you can see the difference. <laughs> So I'm going to blend the side and then come back to show you guys the next step. So now that I'm done blending with my brush, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to smoothen it out.
immediately you're done blending your concealer you want to set it so it doesn't move or crease set my concealer i'm going to be using a pressed powder first before i go in with a loose setting powder i'm going to just go in with this um, powder puff and then um, set the concealer And next up, I'm going to go in with my loose setting powder to completely set it. So after taking your loose setting powder, you want to dust off the excess so and just rub like this so it's smooth and it doesn't, you know, leave any chunk of powder underneath your eyes. So I'm just going to um, create a very sharp line here and then, you know, just press it in. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So you want to also set your forehead, the bridge of your nose, and then, you know, every other area where you have your setting powder. And I'm also going to be using this to create a sharp line under my um, contour. So I don't want this to be too sharp so you can see that so I'm going to do the same thing for this side so this is just like that natural line I was trying to show you so you see yeah okay. I'm going to set on my contour with my powder contour this is also my brand but we haven't launched yet so this is just a sample sent to me by my supplier so as soon as we launch i'm definitely going to let you guys know the lighter contour shade and this is a darker one so i'm going to be using this to contour my nose and then i'm going to use this to set this contour here so this is very very pigmented you want to be very careful when applying it so i'm going to go in with a powder brush Also going to use this for my forehead to so slightly contour my forehead area. I'm going to be using this for my nose contour. We're using this very small brush to do that. You can see how pigmented that is. Like it's so so pigmented. So I'm just going to try to blend out the edges so there are no sharp lines. The next thing will be to set the rest of my face using my actual powder shade. So I'm going to be using, which shade? I'm going to be using the shade. So this is just to like press everything and marry everything together for my blush i'm going to be using this blush for my brand as well is a blush and contour palette so they just sent me the samples like this so i can check to see if i like the quality that's why it's like this okay so the finished product will be sent to me soon and then i can launch it so i'm just going to apply my blush hair it's so subtle and at the same time it's just giving that really cool vibe so i'm going to pop on my lashes and do my leaves and then come back to show you guys the final look okay so guys this is the final result do let me know what you think in the comment section below okay